If you want to learn how to repair the mobile phone as a beginner or as someone who has been repairing, then watch this video. We have a Google Pixel 7 Pro right here that it's not powering on and I received it from another shop. Let's see how we can troubleshoot. I connected it on charge. As you can see, there is no current draw right there even when the battery is connected. I connected the phone to my DC power supply. As you can see right there, we have a very bad current draw without even pressing the power button, which shows that, okay, there is a half shot in, in this mobile PCB. This type of shot, your multimeter won't be able to detect it from the VBAT line, right? So keep that in mind. So this type of shorting can either be caused by IC, maybe the charging IC or the power IC or components. And we are going to test that. So we have our multimeter, we set it to our Boza mode. Uh, continuity test mode perform a cold testing we have the red probe to the ground then we use the black probe to test the capacitors so first we tested the v but as you can see the reading is okay that's above 300 as you can see that one is okay also okay that one is okay as well that one is okay if you check the reading you will see there is no low value reading right there that one is still okay that one is okay and uh, yeah this capacitor is not okay if you look carefully you will see that i'm testing both of the sites and they are giving the same reading 10 ohm reading which is really bad for a capacitor in that section i even think that that's the vph line i don't have the schematic diagram for this mobile phone so i cannot tell if that's the v vph line but from my experience that should be the vph line which is the secondary power line of this mobile phone so again i'm still testing that's shorting it was supposed to be given a reading of 0 0.00 or 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 but my the, the battery of my multimeter it's actually low that's why it's giving 0 0.10 we have a couple of capacitors that are shorting right there and all we have to do we have to inject a save voltage in that line so we have three capac four capacitors right there that are shorting in the same section as you can see i sold that this cable because i want to inject the save voltage because it's possible that the capacitors are not actually the one that are bad it just shows that they are in the line in the bad line of the mobile pcb you understand so we set a save voltage which is 3.5 because i think that should be the vph line and we increase the current so i connected my uh, gnt probe of my DC power supply then I connected the red probe so I don't have a thermal camera so I have to feel the heat first this is the first method I have to feel the heat then know where it's coming from so you can see that's a, a short current row which is really high shows that there is actually a short in that line you can see it's more higher than what I showed you when I tested from the V bat right so you see how this uh, half shorting troubleshooting is important because you find the components that are shorting in the secondary section of the mobile PCB then yeah you do it the way that I'm doing right here so I'm feeling the heat around this section on this section that should be the cpu on the emmc but the other side we have the two power manager ICs on that other side so as you can see i removed them and the heat is coming from this section right there well if you want my courses you can send me a message on whatsapp using the number on the screen the sweetest thing about my courses right now is that you can get the courses with a 45% discount. Either it's the basic level or the professional level course. So rush now and buy the courses before it goes back to the standard and normal price. So I had to spray my uh, short powder, then inject the voltage again. As you can see, that capacitor, it's heating up. It's heating up, right? So as you can see right there, that's a bad capacitor. So all we have to do, we pull out the capacitor, then connect it connect the phone to our dc power supply again and seriously i connected it and the shot wasn't removed you understand so i had to inject the voltage again because there was still heat and yeah we had another guy just beside that one that wasn't heating up at first because we have that one so when we removed it this one was actually heating up like it really heating up so all we had to do we removed that other one again then clean the PCB so you can see all the side that we spray the the resin flux we had to to clean and uh, yeah 
everything is working right here so send me a message on whatsapp purchase my course from the link in my bio follow for more amazing videos and more tutorial videos because i will be making videos right now for beginners and for those who have been doing the work and still want to learn more so follow make sure you follow and check the links on my bio